This piece of bone shows that the domestic dog may have existed much longer than we've previously believed. The background to this study is that I took part in a, in a polar research expedition about five years ago to the Timur Peninsula in northernmost Russia. And uh, we were there looking for and collecting bones from various mammals. And uh, one of these bones was a small fragment of a bone which we couldn't really identify down to the species level. We could see that it was from a medium-sized mammal, but n nothing more than that. And uh, but we still took a small piece of it and brought it back to the lab. And once we were back in the, in the lab, we did a, a genetic species identification on this bone, and we found that it was from a wolf, which is a species that lives today in the Timur Peninsula. So we therefore thought that maybe this sample wasn't that old. Uh, and we didn't do much about it for a couple of months. But then we had some money left over and we decided to send it for radiocarbon dating. And when we got the results, uh, the results actually showed that, that the samples was uh, 35,000 years old. From this single piece of bone, scientists have mapped the whole genome of the prehistoric wolf. And it is this that forms the basis of the study that is now being published. When we look at modern wolves and modern dogs, uh, they all share a common ancestor. And, and previous studies have estimated that this common ancestor lived about 10 to 15,000 years ago. But we can now show that this individual, this wolf that used to run around uh, on the steppe tundra in, during the last ice age, this wolf belonged to the population that was the last known common ancestor between wolves and dogs. And therefore, we, we have to revise the timing of the split between wolves and dogs to at least 30,000 years ago. So this indicates that dogs were actually domesticated already some 30,000 years ago, which is about twice as long ago as, as people have previously thought.